pain right there would be, oh, five and six. <laughs> that hurts. Huh? Yeah, that hurts. Mm -hmm. And now he's got, like, see, he's when he stopped, now he's gumming me. He's gumming you. Yeah. yeah. So you feel like really taking him off? Yeah. Okay. All right. And see, so you see you're so you're sideways. slanting. Here, I can do it again. It only takes a few seconds. He is chewing. See what he's doing to my nipple? He's pulling the top part and not the bottom part. Instead of being square. Yes, and he's opened up that wound too. Yep. Yep. Okay, okay. <laughs> function items first <clears throat> because of the fact that the baby can usually cooperate better with the function. Uh, the first is lateralization. We want to see if the baby can move the tongue back and forth from side to side. Sometimes they can move the body of the tongue but not the tip. And that is done by putting the finger on the gum line and seeing the baby would normally follow the finger across the gum line from side to side. He doesn't seem to be doing that at all. All right, he thinks that's enough. So he would get a zero for that or none. Lift of the tongue is when you touch the baby's upper lip. See, they should come to try to reach your finger with their tongue. He, tries to, he tried to stick it out, but he can't seem to lift it, so he gets a zero for that. The tip stays at the lower alveolar ridge. Can he extend his tongue out over the lower lip? You do that by uh, stroking the lower lip, seeing if he can bring his tongue out to where your finger is. Getting a little frustrated here. He can't seem to do that. He brings his tongue just to the gum line, but you see him trying just to the gum line, but not beyond the lip, so he gets a one for that. Um, spreading of the anterior tongue, that's when the baby cries, as you just saw him do. You look for bunching of the top of the tongue and, and assess the spread of the tongue. It's a little bit bunched, so I'd give him a one for that. It's not too bad. Cupping of the tongue, that's around your finger. <coughs> Pulling on the chin just a little bit to see if the tongue stays a attached to the finger while the baby sucks and it does he cups very well with the sides of his tongue and the tongue stays attached to the back of my finger so he gets a two for that um, peristalsis is felt by the back of the finger while the baby sucks and you, you feel the tongue should feel the tongue uh, peristalsis beginning from the tip and moving back toward the back of the tongue and with him, it starts way posterior at the back of the tongue. But it's not in reverse motion. It's in the right, uh, it's in the correct um, direction from front to back. So he gets a one for that, originating posterior to tip. And uh, the snap back is heard um, at the breast periodically. You get that by history uh, or by on the, and even at the bottle. So he gets a one for that. Now we'll go to the appearance items. Looking at the tongue when the baby opens his mouth, you can see that there's a little bit of an indentation or a cleft, slight, slight cleft in the tip. It's not, his is not heart shaped. There's just, just a slight cleft, particularly when he tries to lift or protrude the tongue. Just a slight cleft. So he gets a one for that. Now. To look at the frenulum itself, you need to slide the finger underneath the tongue and expose the frenulum by raising the tongue. Then you look at the upper attachment of the tongue, uh, of the frenulum to the tongue. It's just beyond the tip, so he'd get a two for that. And then you look at the anterior attachment, and on this baby, the anterior attachment is at the posterior alveolar ridge. Its length is about, it's, a, it's less than a centimeter, it's quite short, and does not stretch at all. <coughs> and that's the end of the uh, Hazel Baker tool. Now, we can add that up if you like.